Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to St. Patrick Basilica for our celebration of the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ, Corpus Christi. The readings for today's Mass begin on page 456, 456 of the Sunday Missal. One announcement, please be advised that this Mass is being live streamed and we welcome all those who are joining us. Today's Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Courtney Gibbs by the Gibbs family. Would you please stand and join in the processional hymn, Alleluia, Sing to Jesus, in the red hymnal, number 601, 601, the red hymnal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, of the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 
Let us pray. O oh God, who in this wonderful sacrament has left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord and all the ordinances. And all the people answered with one voice and said, All the words that the Lord has spoken we will do. And Moses wrote down all the words of the Lord. He rose early in the morning and built an altar at the foot of the mountain and set up 12 pillars corresponding to the 12 tribes of Israel. He sent young men of the children of Israel who offered burnt offerings and sacrificed oxen as offerings of well-being to the Lord. Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins, and half of the blood he dashed against the altar. Then he took the Book of the Covenant and read it in the hearing of the people, and they said, All that the Lord has spoken we will do, and we will be obedient. 
Moses took the blood and dashed it on the people and said, See the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you in accordance with all these words. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came as a high priest of the good things that have come, then through the greater and perfect tent, not made with hands, that is, not of this creation, he entered once for all into the holy place, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls, with the sprinkling of the ashes of a heifer, sanctifies those who have been defiled so that their flesh is purified, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to worship the living God. For this reason, Christ is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance, because a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions under the first covenant. The word of the Lord.
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. On the first day of unleavened bread, when the Passover lamb is sacrificed, the disciples said to Jesus, Where do you want us to go and make <clears throat> preparations for you to eat the Passover? So he sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go into the city, and a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him, and wherever he enters, say to the owner of the house, The teacher asks, Where is my guest room, where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large room upstairs, furnished and ready. Make preparations for us there. So the disciples set out and went to the city and found everything as he had told them, and they prepared the Passover meal. While they were eating, he took a loaf of bread, and after blessing it, he broke it, gave it to them, and said, Take, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, and all of them drank from it. He said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. Truly I tell you, I will never again drink of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. When they had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. The Gospel of the Lord. Bread of life, bread of angels, bread from heaven. In the most magnificent cathedral, to the smallest undecorated chapel, with a family gathered in grief for a funeral for someone they love, with a couple about to become one witnessed by their invited guests, masses celebrated before thousands hundreds or just a handful, in a convent, in a penitentiary, in all of the languages spoken on the earth, bread and wine are transformed into the body and blood of Christ. And as New York Cardinal Dolan once wrote, people centered on the Eucharist will always be grateful Heads bowed, whispering prayers, on their knees, praising their gracious God for countless gifts. We confess we're sorry for taking them for granted and for not living as grateful sons and daughters. We confidently present our needs to a Father ever ready to listen, and we entrust to him the intentions of our families, friends, our country, our church, the sick and the poor. Holy Communion, the Eucharist, the Lord's Supper. Every Sunday, every day, in the morning and in the afternoon and in the evening, in public and in secret, it is estimated that each day, 350,000 different times Mass is celebrated. In each of those times, we hear said, thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. O Lord, I am not worthy. Scriptures are read, hearts opened, faith professed. And young and old and sick and well and rich and poor partake fully and wholeheartedly in the Lord's sacrifice of love. Body, blood, soul, divinity. 
In today's gospel, during the celebration of the Jewish Passover, Jesus, sitting at table with his closest friends, takes bread, blesses it, breaks it and gives it, saying, this is my body. Then the cup, saying, this is my blood poured out for many. He gives himself as food and drink. He still does. Now, every time we gather to celebrate the Eucharist, do this in memory of me. From its very beginning, the church has come together to celebrate this wondrous mystery of love. This meal of the Lord's body and blood. Individually and together, we receive, receive the body of Christ so as to become the body of Christ. We approach the Eucharist not only with faith, but also in humility and in love, with a spirit of repentance and a resolve to live what we receive as we participate, saying yes, our amen, again and again and again. This is my body, this is my blood. At the Last Supper, bread and wine became the body and blood of Christ for the first time. So it does every time we gather, listen to the words of Jesus and break the bread. And today we celebrate the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ, the Church's feast, honoring the Eucharist. Well, Benedict said, the happiness you have a right to enjoy has a name and a face. It is Jesus of Nazareth, hidden in the Eucharist. Saint Pope John Paul has said, Jesus is not an idea, a sentiment, a memory. Jesus is a person always alive and present with us. And then the Pope challenged his listeners to love Jesus who is present in the Eucharist. And as Pope Francis reminds us, Jesus knows us. He knows that we are sinners and that we make many mistakes. But he does not give up joining his life to ours. Describing the Eucharist not as the reward of saints, but as the bread for sinners. Francis has said that each time we receive the bread of life, the Lord comes to us new, giving new meaning to our lives. New meaning to our lives. Take. Eat. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. 
and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We bring our prayers before God. Please respond, Lord, to hear our prayer. We pray with Pope Francis for his intention of the month of June. Let us pray that migrants fleeing from war and hunger, forced to undertake journeys fraught with danger and violence, may find welcome and new living opportunities in their host countries. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that all Catholics will treasure the gift of the Holy Eucharist given to them by Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we approach the table of the Lord for spiritual nourishment, may we always be mindful of those among us who need the material things necessary for life with human dignity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember the sick and infirm, as well as those who are burdened by loneliness, that they may know the peace that our Lord grants to those who seek him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the faithful departed, especially those of our parish, and in particular, Mary Ann Doyle, whose funeral will be celebrated here on Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we celebrate, O loving God, the new covenant sealed in the blood of your Son, hear our prayers, and grant that we may always give you thanks in this Eucharist until we celebrate this banquet in your heavenly kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We are grateful for your financial sacrifices which ensure that we continue our ministry. You are invited to leave your offering in the baskets or the boxes available at the exits or using your debit or credit card at the Kent Street and Nepean Street exits. And we thank you for your support of St. Patrick's Basilica.
pray, brothers and sisters, my, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offerings we here present through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross. He offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith, and united by one bond of charity. So we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son, to confirm us in the bond of communion, together with Francis, our Pope, Marcel, our Bishop, Ivan, his auxiliary, with all other bishops, with priests and deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead, whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with St. Patrick, St. Justin, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other a sign of God's peace. 
¿Vale? Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For communion, use the center aisle or the aisles by the windows and return by the aisles with the pillars. You are invited to receive kneeling or standing. Please consume immediately in the presence of the minister of communion. Thank you.
Grant, O Lord, we pray, that we may delight for all eternity in that share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Please join in the recessional hymn, O Jesus Christ, Remember, in the red hymnal number 518. 518 in the red hymnal. 